my name is Feiruz, welcome to my channel. So today I decided to do this look which is totally inspired by pink and dusty rose tones and I figured this could be a good time also to do a demo for the Ritual Defi product that I already own. So in this video you will see how you can use these products in multiple ways as they come in I will say a blush form, a cream blush form, but you still can use them in so many different ways as I did today. So in total I have four products of Ritual Defeat today. I have two colors of their blushes, one uh, of their highlighter or what they call light luminizer in the shade Solar, and I have one highlight intensifier which is uh, sounds like something you use to amplify your highlighter as well but i figured this could look really cool as you know an eyeshadow <laughs> not an eyeshadow but more of um, an eye gloss and i was right i tested it out i did it again and I totally feel like this can give you the full glossy effect without using, you know, regular gloss, which you can do, definitely. But I thought maybe this will be a great experiment and I liked the process in general. Also, you can see I'm not using any mascara and I kept it really simple for my complexion and I used only concealer to like just brighten up certain areas and conceal what need to be concealed and also use just a tiny little bit of powder not to actually mattify my face but more to like keep it in control I would say I felt like it's a little bit too glowy and I wanted the actual eye look to be the star of the show as they say. So first I started with concealer. I used the Fit Me Maybelline concealer in the shade 05 and I used it on the center of my face. I actually used a Real Technique brush not only for the concealer but for everything else. This brush is actually a setting brush and the one I'm using is the Sam and Nick edition and this brush is phenomenal. You can use it pretty much for everything and that is what I did today. I used it for every step of my look today. This brush is amazing with creams and liquids. It is a setting brush but it does wonders with liquids and cream, ironically enough. After I finished the concealer, I did put a little bit of setting powder and I used a tiny, tiny, tiny bit and I made sure to use light touch because I didn't want to deposit too much powder. I just wanted to set the concealer just a tiny bit. Then the next step, I actually wanted to demonstrate and showcase different looks or different stages of the look that you can actually use by itself or you can keep going as I did to reach the glossy effect. So the first step I took the color Desire and I deposit the color on the parameters of my face. use that on my nose just a tiny little bit and then I defined my eyes with it as well my finger 
powder and I applied a little bit on my lips and I tried to diffuse that as much as possible. And that is actually very simple, it gives the effect of no makeup makeup and you can use it pretty much every single day. Then I proceeded to use another color and it is in the shade Rapture which is also a blush and I tried to put a concentrated color on my cheeks and I blended a little bit with my fingers then I took the brush and blended even farther more. It looks a little intense at first but once you blend it it will settle a little bit and then after a while it will settle even more and it, it will give you just a natural flush. just a tiny little bit on the center of my eyes and then I blended a little bit with a with a brush just a tiny little bit to keep it less intense on the eyes I used a tiny little bit also on my lips This is the second look where the colors are more on the pinkier side this time. And using the, this pink shade on the apples of your cheeks just gives this extra youthful look to the face. All of this now takes us to highlighting. And since I have a sample of their highlight, I decided to use to use it today on my cheeks. The last step and the most fun of them all is using the highlighter intensifier. It is the Alchemist and this is a very interesting product. It looks like Vaseline paste with a lot of sparkly glittery things. <laughs> And the way that this work is very interesting as well. I don't intend to use it as a highlight intensifier to be honest. I'm mainly interested in this as a gloss and specifically an eye gloss. I feel like this gives the effect I desire way way better than if I use this on my cheekbones but who knows, maybe I will, but for today I'm mainly gonna stick to using this on the eyes and I tr used my fingers, as you can see. I tried to use it in the upper inner corner of my eye and I dragged it all the way to my brow bone and I also used a little bit on the actual lid itself, but I tried not to use too much on the lid because this is, at the end of the day, is a very slippery formula so this will crease but since the colors underneath are not that intense it, it will not be that messy and that is the final look this is very dewy very fresh and youthful look and even though this is a glossy eye and it's pretty much an editorial vibe it is still wearable and you can actually wear this as an everyday look. I would love to know if you like this look and what do you think in general about these types of videos. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, that will mean a lot to me. And I hope you will join me on the next one. Until then, bye!